Okay guys, I'm down here at the garage. I hadn't put uh, many videos out. I've done a whole lot of fishing here lately because of work. But, uh, and plus, been down here with my son on his uh, sea arc. But uh, today I think is the 20th. Today's March 26th. And uh, the wind's blowing real bad. The wind's blowing real bad. It was supposed to be real bad. It's supposed to be 15 mile an hour winds tomorrow. Uh, I was going to go catch some bait and maybe do a little bit of catfishing. But, uh, what you doing, Huck? A little border collie out here. Make sure all the critters are safe. But, uh, I was going to uh, do a little uh, go over on what we've been doing to the sea arc. Uh, I might try to go tomorrow and, and do a bait video. Uh, in the wind, see if I can get on some perch. Uh, I just hate fighting the wind anymore. But uh, but the catfish, you gotta have bait. So chances are I'm gonna go catch bait. Or try to catch bait. Uh, I've got some frozen bait. If I don't, that I'll take some uh, gizzard shad, and I think I may have a little bit of perch. But I'd rather have fresh. But. Uh, let me kind of give you a rundown on, on what we're doing to this boat. Uh, now, grant you, it still needs to be cleaned out as far as vacuumed and vacuumed out and stuff, but all that, you know, will, will happen as we go. But uh, the first thing is uh, is the pop rivets that we're using on the exterior of the boat are solid pop rivets, and uh, Jet Manning hooked us up on, on what to use on them. And uh, those right there do not take a pop rivet gun, these right here. Now, that's on the exterior. Now, on the interior of the boat, we'll use regular pop rivets with a pop rivet gun. But these right here with my air, air hammer tool, uh, you can purchase these uh, tips for these things that just go on there just like that right there. You just put it up there and stick it through the hole that you drill need a, a, a hard piece of metal but any of you guys that work construction or at least set tanks before y'all know what that right there is that's a heavy piece of metal you hold this on the inside Oops. you hold this on the inside like this right here then you hammer it from the outside with that other and it just it just flares the end of it and tightens it up tightens the pop rivet up for you I thought that might be something y'all might want to know, and uh, but I'll show you what we've done. We replaced, we put a transom on the back of this. We didn't replace the whole transom, but uh, what what it was is for that this motor right here had set right here. It had some oxidization, oxidization where the where the uh, aluminum was pitted right here. I mean, it probably would have been fine. But we decided to replace, not replace, but add a whole sheet of, of aluminum back here just to strengthen it up, but, but which the other would have been fine. But uh, it, it's, it worked out real well. It worked out real well. We're real pleased with that. that is, that's just going to make it that much stronger. And we've got a mess of tearing all that stuff out that we need to get cleaned up. And we've been cleaning up all the aluminum and uh, this is the actually this gas tank right here uh, come out of the the uh, um, champion bass boat that my son has that we're taking the engine off of it and, and, and some of the parts to put on this and we're putting 150 on this boat but this gas tank is going to be the one to go to go in it. I think it's 22 gallon. The gas tank they had fit right in this big open area right here, and uh, the people that had this boat run four inch long screws through it. That's why we couldn't use the gas tank in it. And I don't know how long gas has been leaking in the boat, but that was some kind of dangerous. People, before y'all run screws screws in a boat find out where the gas tanks at but there's four long screws run through that 
but we're going to change a lot of this. You see some of this is being up. We're going to change a lot of that and re-strengthen it. And we're going to, uh, the batteries will be on this side of the boat. And I mean, we just redoing it compared to what uh, it come from the factory. Uh, we didn't like the way it was from the factory, so we're going to make it right. The floor level in this boat was real close to being halfway up that side over there but now the four level is going to come from this corner to that corner over yonder flat we got uh, aluminum put in here to make it and strengthen all this up we're going to brace all this real good and it's going to be a deep boat with a flat floor in it but uh, and we got some hoses stretched out just trying to get an idea on some stuff but the live well is going to go right here sit down in here we're going to clean all this right here up and that's going to that's going to be the framing for the live well we're going to build a live well and sit right down in here and the deck's going to come from here to the front of the boat and the consoles the consoles is going to set set back this way right here and it's going to be a dual windshield boat but he's got it, got it up in the air right there just a little bit. He's been grinding on the bottom, getting all this paint off. And he's been getting all this paint off down through here. I'm just going to have to call Doug back later. But uh, this is the progress on the boat. Uh, and we do have, we made, let me get you back here. You can see the, the live well fittings and, and stuff right there. That's the live well and live well drain right there, and that's the boat drain right there. But right down here is the live well pump. Okay. We made that bracket right there with, so we didn't have to mount it directly on the bottom of the boat. We made that bracket to mount the bilge pump on, and we can take screws and screw that in and out. And that's the pump for the live well right there and that's just a regular bilge pump right there but uh, it's a working process I, I thought this might be something that y'all might be interested in in looking at and but they, like I say these they had some kind of big storage compartment you can see where that glue spot is over on the glue carpet that was a storage and it's the same thing. It was the same thing on this opposite side right here. So see what we done is drilled them rivets out and took that, took them storage out. So we'll put new rivets back in here, so it would, so it will look good and, and and done proper. But but like I say, they still a lot of cleaning to go on down in here, and we will be foaming the bottom of this boat. We will be putting a lot of foam in the bottom of this boat for sound and, and stuff like that but but uh, and you can see I don't know if this camera is zoomed in I'm gonna try no it don't look like it zooms in but right down there in the very that's the one that builds pump uh, it's about three quarters of an inch off the bottom of the floor in the back on the bracket we didn't want it directly on the bottom we didn't want nothing to rub rub the bottom of the boat but uh, I thought y'all might enjoy that. And I've got the old Blue Dog boat. It's about ready to go. I'm going to hook it up after a while. If I decide to go tomorrow to catch bait, we're going to catch bait. But uh, if y'all like this type of videos, just put a comment down there and let me know. And if y'all want to keep seeing the uh, progresses that we're making on this boat, just let me know. Now, we are going to put a jack plate on the back of this boat. we got a jack plate that goes on on the back of it uh, this boat will have a jack plate on it because uh, we will we've got the holes drilled for the motor already but uh, we will have a rod rack on the back of this boat and that just keeps the motor and everything we can put a lower rod rack instead of a real tall rod, rod rack like on mine put a jack plate on it and we can put a low rod a short rod rack on it and we'll build a short rod right and put on it. But, uh, but like I say, my tanks are empty. Both of my tanks are empty. I've got to get some bait going on. I gotta get some bait in here. 
But uh, if y'all like this video and, and want want to do some, want me to put some more updates on it, just let me know in the comments, and 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 uh, then we'll go from there. And we'll show the process of the wiring and the and uh, the uh, um, putting the steering in, especially the steering. We're gonna put hydraulic steering on this boat, and. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a dual console boat. We did take a wind chill off of another boat that wasn't quite this big, but I think it's going to work just fine. We just might have to, uh, the two console pieces is going to work just fine, but we might have, the walkthrough part, we might have to uh, fabricate a windshield to open and close through the uh, walkthrough part. But, but uh, it's a work in process. So, uh, hit like and subscribe if you want me to put more of these like this out uh, just let me know in the comments thank you